Hey guys, Finlox here, back with our blind playthrough of Arafel. Last time we left off, we were in Chapter 2, we were in the Blood Forest, everyone's been turned to stone. And once again, we are by ourselves. Um, I would like to... we're starting to get, uh, heavy hide, which is nice. Uh, but I need more of it. I also need cotton thread. That's kind of the, the big thing at the moment. Yep. Also enchanting dust and light essence. But that will come. I assume that will come. So... Um... Hmm. Let's continue... You know... Killing some peeps, I suppose. Although, honestly, I guess I don't really need to just yet. What I should probably do is... ...is move on. Because... I mean, if we accidentally fight people, yeah, sure. I'm looking at... Oh, okay. There we go. Alright, this goes up. Is this the only way? Oh, there's some bones. That's really strange. Is there no other way to get up here? Oh no, that's uh... That's just the top up there. All right, cool. Hmm. Okay, another fairy ring. That is fine. Was that... I don't... I'm trying to remember. Is this where everything... Like, there were no other paths? Oh, come on. Right, so that- those both went down, but then... Oh, come on. That's- whatever. Wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, what was over here? We did go up here. Yes. It is interesting as well that I think the... Right, did we not go up this way? Okay, well... I was gonna say, it seems like... Maybe they're not as aggressive. But I think they still are. That was good, I like that. And those guys give more experience, which is strange. Not that I'm gonna turn them down. Oh, that's okay. I'm trying to sneak by them, but it's it's cool. Coffee. I made more coffee and I made this like not ooh, we should um Let's do some first aid. Yeah, cause the poison. I seriously would have laughed if see that tastes way better. I must have been making it too weak. It must be the beans very strange, because I'd make it like I normally do. And I was like, man, it tasted weak, but... You know, it was... I don't know. So anyway, yeah. But I made more, because I was like, well, I want more, and also, let me just make it stronger. But I put, like... 
normally when I grind the beans, I put like four scoops in. This time I put like six. But even when it was weak, it was... Okay. Oh, oh, okay. So this, yeah. This just loops around. This is not... Not the right way to go. So it's not... It's, it's basically linear, which is fine. Ah, well, okay. Didn't mean to do that, but that's all right. Nothing wrong with a little bit more money and a little bit more experience and a little bit more crafting stuff if we get some. Right, Manny? Manny's in my lap. He's been very affectionate today. Excellent. Heavy hide makes me happy. Because, man, I don't know how much of that we're going to need. But... I know it's going to be a lot. Oh. There we go. Alright. Now to the fairy thing. Alright. What happens if we touch enemies? Nothing. Okay, that's what I figured. And here's the other... Although I suppose you could scout ahead. Usually... Usually only the, uh... Right, so we've been there. And this is that same area. That's presumably where we're going. Wow, you can, like, look at the whole map. I don't really see a lot of resources, though. There's some right there. Some more right there. Ooh. Oh, hello. Oh, interesting. So... Yeah, you just skip this one. Maybe you don't even notice. Let's see, it pays. I figured it was one to one, and that's what we need, the light essence. I figured it was one of these for every... Or, you know, there was an even number, but... Let me rephrase that. I figured on a screen, there would only be two of those. But no, there's there's more than that. Alright, let's check out this... Somehow, in the pit of this gemstone, a shimmering light is dancing. Well... So we have almost what we need for our... Bow upgrade. You just have to kind of be near it. I'm just kind of looking around, making sure I didn't... Whoa! Ah! Hello. So she could teleport, huh? How did you do that? I'm a sorceress. You made it here unharmed, I see. Are you prepared? As I'll ever be, I guess. Good. The area ruins are not far from here, but it seems the way is guarded by vampires. We'll likely have to fight at least some of them, so be on your toes, girl. My equipment may be in need of an upgrade now that I think of it. It has been some time since I went monster hunting. Get to work. Sari Kesu has joined your party. Sari Kesu is a mage who specializes in elemental area of effect magic. Nice. Our spells inflict ailments on affected targets. Incidentally, I was not expecting to go crawling around any ruins infested with vampires today. If you're already carrying anything that might be used to upgrade my equipment, I suggest you do so before we get started, girl. That makes sense. Alright, well, let's take a look. Oh yeah, lots of stuff plus skills. She's level 11, so I'm a little bit higher than her. That's okay, it'll even out eventually. All right, so first she has... Oh yeah, some of her stuff is tier one. Crystal Staff. Sari Kesu says she can channel magic through these. I don't know how. Um, oh, well. So I need the same stuff for my bow. But, yeah, she needs less of it. Well, more hide, though. Crystal Conduit. To Mystic Conduit. It amplifies magic, granting the ability to cast elemental spells. Oh, MP regen. That's handy. 
circlet, a delicate circlet. Yeah. Magi robe. Simple Magi robe. Yes. Oh, absolutely. Plus defense of both kinds and power. Magi mark. The mark of the Magi. Bronze ingot. Yep. Well, let's do this. I mean, we're going to do all of them first, but... Mark of the Magi can hold Tier 1 enchantments. Uh, we'll take a look in a second. Magi robe. Yeah, it's a linen robe. It itches. Well, it'll keep you alive, though. Circlet. To a linen hat, like a sorceress. It mostly just keeps the sun out of my eyes. Well, plus power 7. That's good. And then the crystal staff is probably, probably good. Let's take a look what skills she's got. We'll want to try fighting with her. Also, we're the only one that doesn't have the, the last stand thing, right? You know, I noticed for all of our people, the red is like the second one. I don't know what that means. That's probably the lower, that's probably these at the bottom, you know? And it's interesting, too. It looks like they're all sort of in different... Well, to be fair, the stuff on the right looks far more strong than the stuff on the left. All right, well, let's take a look. Fire one or more enemies. Deals damage to a single enemy or divides it among all enemies. Also deals each target five potency per turn for two turns. Earth one or more enemies... Less cost, but also weaker. Deals damage to a single enemy or divides among. Each target hit will be dazed. That's good. Hey, Jack. Manny's in my lap and Jack is near my feet. Lightning, strongest by far. Okay, next hit on the target will deal an additional 15% damage. That's cool. Ice and earth are about the same. Also reduces target's damage by 10% for two turns. That's... That's helpful. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Channel self converts up to 50 of series MP to ultimate charge progress, granting 1% charge per MP. So what does her ultimate do? All enemies. Blast all enemies with high potency magic of every element. Can I upgrade this? Cannot be upgraded. Well, there you go. Um, increases the amount of ultimate charge. Hmm. Well, it's a question of... I mean, fire is probably the standard, right? Let's take a look at her status. She's a mage. Ah, oh, see, that makes sense. Power and wisdom, right? Power and wisdom. Lots of damage. Lots of magic. And, um, not a lot of the others. She's slow, so she's gonna go at the end. Hmm. We need to try her in battle. Honestly, I'd probably want her... Probably want her to do more damage, so we'll probably want to upgrade... Upgrade what you can, you know what I mean? Almost doubles the damage she'll do from this. The crystals in the staff seem to glow even in the dark. Neat. Yep. Yeah. Oh, so it's almost doubling each time. Hot, rare hide, iron ore, and fire essence to a metal staff. Yeah. Okay. And then, um,. So she probably would want defense, wisdom. Hmm. I don't have agility dust. And I don't have very much wisdom dust. I think... Probably defense. And we'll do defense. 
Sure. There we go. All right. Plus skills. Yeah, we could. Increases potency by five. So it would do the same. It would. Well, what about this? Increases potency by five. So this would be just as potent as the lightning if you upgrade it, but, you know, uh, then again, this one's pretty strong. This is definitely the strongest one. Each target hit will be dazed. Dazed, which means it automatically goes at the end. So even if she's slow, and just straight up and just boost damage. You upgrade them and it boosts all the damage. Hmm. Because that's the thing, you could do this to everybody and then their next turn they go after us. Yeah, sure. That way at least gives it a little bit, makes it a little bit stronger. It's not as weak. There we go. All right, let's try fighting some dudes. This will be the perfect test. Have you ever seen elemental magic in action, girl? I saw a flame lizard come out of the cave of life once. Pay attention, you're about to see why I'm famous in the world of wizardry. Ultimate abilities are unlocked. When the violet bar on the bottom of the battle screen fills, any character with an unlocked ultimate can use it. Ah, I see, and she requires two thirds of the bar. So, uh, yeah, why not? We could always do our ultimate right now. Just to try it, you know? Although... Should we do it? Holy cow. Let's try it. Hmm. Let's try the earth. Oh, how do you do? I see. And we'll give it a go. I thought they were supposed to be dazed. Didn't seem like it worked. Okay, well. See, again, no days. You'd think if it was going to... Hmm, that's strange. I figured she, Lita, would be at the top. But, so she got a level up. That's okay. Mm-hmm. Extra damage for her. More defense. This is also extra healing. So that might be, that might be key. Yeah, I mean, you could give her more of a critical rate. More dodge, also. I think I'd rather do power, though. The best offense... The best defense is a good offense. Something like that. Alright, well, we got more. We need to try... Disappointing. Is that a block? Well, okay, well, they're burning now.
Ah. Right on. Let's try Earth again. I want to see if we can daze them. Hmm. It's a little bit. Yeah. Oh. Well, yeah. On the other hand, fire is like pretty good. It seems like it does a pretty good amount of damage. And even with five potency, which is like a th third of the minimum. Oh yeah, four. Try lightning, I suppose. And shocked. Hmm, so the dazed, I'm not sure. Maybe it's bugged? Each target hit will be dazed. Well, I haven't seen it yet. Maybe they're immune to dazing. That doesn't make sense, though. These are the ruins. Are these the Are ruins? Are ruins? This place seems pretty awful. Long ago, Are, however, I'm gonna keep changing my pronunciation, was an elven city. Doran believes it fell to the vampires early in the war. I expect the shrine we seek is beyond that door to the north. Something tells me it won't be as easy as just walking up to it. If the vampires are guarding it, the door will likely be sealed. What they might be guarding against, I can only guess. Hopefully it's the shrine we're looking for and the curse can be broken. We should look for a way to unseal that door without alerting the vampires to our presence. Otherwise, I do hope you're able to recreate that little trick you pulled at Doran's place. We could use another one of your sun bombs. Recreate it? I don't even remember doing it. And we'll have to hope it doesn't come to that. Let's go. There's still lots of animals all over, though. It's a stone memorial that marks when somebody died and their body was given to the abyss. Oh, wow. So they just throw them over the edge? Also, I'm getting kind of weird Secret of Mana vibes. Oh! Lady Talia II, this stone commemorates the day her body was given to the Abyss. May the winds carry her to the sun. Because these have words on them. Lady Boraya, this stone commemorates the day her body was given to the Abyss. May the winds carry her to the sun. Cloud Rose. It's super bright now. It was dark a second ago. That was, that was good. Um, yeah, let's see. Let's do this. Shocked. And then rapid fire. Hmm. Didn't seem like it did that much extra damage. It seemed like it was doing the same. It's up to 50. Hmm. So you could probably do this, like, towards the end. Chilled. Yeah, maybe Dazed is broken. Hmm. Well, we'll, we'll keep... Oh, there's another door right here. Well, that one's open. Oh. Oh. This place seems pretty quiet. I figured it would be crawling with vampires. What they lack in numbers, they make up in strength. Stay alert. I can't jump into that right there. Let's try going to the other one. Um, Lord Callum Corinya. What about you? This one's open too. Ah, oh, and there's a bowl of blood. And like a little blood statue of a dragon. F 
Theranor. That name sounds familiar. Oh, yeah. It's, we'll fight you. We'll fight you. Alright, skills. Hmm. Yeah, why not? Nice. I'll, I'll actually use the ultimate on the dudes in there, because these guys are... Well, I'm not going to say necessarily weak enough, but... Probably should have, uh... Probably should have, um... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I was saying. Anyway. We have a chest. Opal. Hmm. Lord Azariel the First. Well. Cool. I need these flowers, though. It's kind of strange they would just put something like this off by itself. But then again, maybe that's... Also, so, I mean, obvious question. Are the vampires actually elves? Er, it won't budge. Must be another way. My guess would be we have to do something with... Oh, come on, you. You know, we never seem to get heavy hide from these guys. I bet it's from the Hawks. Well, then again, maybe it's just bad. Bad luck. Um, hmm. Yeah, we'll do fire. Oh yeah, let's try attacking. It's pretty strong, actually. Yeah, so she's more of the damage dealer. Do we go... Uh, yeah, we'll go into here first. Nice that we just go in. Yeah, because this place gave me the creeps. Why did I ever come here? Well, do you need anything? Okay. Well, hello. Now, I could get the silver. But... Oh, yeah. Dust vampire. Ashes of vampire still infused with the curse that brought about its transformation. Interesting. So, I bet it's... I bet you can do, like, drain. Well, maybe. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure we'll find out. And how you, is there a way to get down there to where that thing is? Yuck, spiderwebs off to crawl under this. Potion revival. Okay. Interesting. Oh, so these, we must need them. Zombie, they're all zombies. And they are slow. Strong. Strong. Randomly attacks. Do we want to try this one? Sure. Alright, fair enough. A little disappointing, I was really hoping... So it uses the full bar. I was hoping it would save, like, that quarter... But at least we still get, I don't know what that is, an eighth, a tenth. Uh, and Jack's about to jump up here. Why are you a crazy one? Do you know you're a crazy one? Listen, you. Uh, 
I don't want to run over any kitties, so I gotta check underneath. How about you, mister? Do you want to get run over? No, no you don't. Alright, so we could do power, defense, I mean, we could do any of them. I... Clearly, it's... I wouldn't mind putting some into agility. At least that way she'll go f before some of them. Especially if she could go before some of the uh, some of the spiders. You know, you cast fire on them, and then it would be easier, right? So let's let's do that. Also, can you do critical hits with spells? Oh, you. All right, what do we do with the torch? Ah, I see. I need to find some way to light this. So, oh, I bet that's in the water. All right, fish. Got it. Clever. Oh, we got an eyeball now. Disabler. Well. It's pretty good. Piercing gaze. And we're seeing her dodge pretty regularly, which is nice. All right. Now on the plus side, I shouldn't have to attack this. The fire should take care of it, so... At least, I would hope. They have some pretty high defense, too. That's interesting, right? Yeah, defense 109. Well. Let's do, uh... Nice. Oh, let's check out the torch. We still don't know what we're doing with the flute, but, you know. The flame is cool and it won't go out. How strange. Cool is in, like, temperature, I would imagine. Right, Mr. Catbutt? Yep. You are an adorable little cat. Uh, let's see. Quests? The artifacts? Papa Lord Armenian Elder Simeon were attacked at Doran's home by vampires working with Baramon. Now Seri, Kesu, and I must travel to the Are Ruins in Blood Ferris to find an elven shrine. Indeed. Oh. And the, uh... Yes, my cat. What are you, what are you doing? Listen, you. Listen. Listen, crazy. <laughs> you were just in my lap, and then you got out of it, and then you still want to be all lovey? Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. You are purring up a storm, my cute. I do like her being a little bit faster, so that way she gets to light them on fire before their turn. They take a little bit extra damage. You know, pretty good. Nice. Ah. Magic dust. Look at this belly. This is a nice belly, you. Oh, did we ever look at the heavy hide? I don't think we did. Uh, crafting materials. Heavy. The leather made from these hides is thicker and sturdier than others. Indeed. Uh, magic. A pile of dust infused with pure magical energy. You are so hairy. My head, my shirt is going to be, like, ridiculously hair-covered after this. Oh, did we, uh... I mean, I, I could. Hmm. Well, I mean, we only have... We... You could buy those crafting materials, or presumably you could find them. 
But I think I'd rather save my stuff for the relics that I could buy. Alright. Oh, you. Alright. Rapid fire on... The zombies have a ton of hit points, but that's understandable. Hmm. Now, presumably, they... Since there's fewer things to be divided upon, you know? Like, the damage would be more because you're dividing it up under fewer, fewer people. I will do another fire. Man, you're a crazy one, but you haven't been pet by me all day, have you? Nope. See, what is this? Doesn't that look suspicious? It looks suspicious to me. You're a cute weirdo. You're my cute little weirdo. Alright, let's just light him up. Oh, I need to look at her victory pose. Right, and I assume the ultimate thing we all share, so if one of us uses it, you know. Uh, fire. Fire it is. I should have used fire, because the daze thing, as far as I could tell, doesn't work. I don't know if... Hmm. Does what's-his-name? Will he, uh... Can he daze people? Adrian? He had that one skill, but I thought that needed to be upgraded to daze. Dust Vigor. Nice. Alright. Well... Hmm. We're so close. I have to. Extra dodge is nice as well. You know? Alright, we have multiple doors here. But I'm gonna check all of these just because. This is so weird. Huh. That's strange. Door is held by a golden lock. A gold key is required to open it. That makes sense. Huh. Enchant deadly strikes two. We got some, like, doors locked. You only need a key. Ah. Uh. Ow! This is some sort of magical seal. There must be a way to break it. It's probably by pulling a lever. What did I just pick up? Oh yeah, the deadly strikes. Oh, I guess I can't even see it. Yep. Max enchantments plus one. Hmm. Well, let's go into here. Relic Pendant. Uh, where is it? This was made by humans long ago. We talk so much about the elves, but we forget we have our own history sometimes. All party members plus three defense. That's good. Because I think... Each... When you gain a level, it's like plus 0.5 defense. Something like that. What's up, guys? There was a critical hit.
Okay, yeah, so she just like flips her hair. These guys give tons of experience, which is nice. Oh, we have to go down into the blood, do we? Well, that's wonderful. Where, um, where did that other door lead? Not here, I guess. Yeah, it sounds weird, just thinking about it. Like, probably better just to put points from a damage perspective, not in agility, into damage. Like her. Like, because I, I could be like, well, you know, we'll do extra damage if we get critical hits, but it's like... You have to put a lot in, you know what I mean? Like for her, agility 96, I mean that's critical hit rate 28%. Yeah. Mostly, I, I don't know. You know, if I, if I probably put more into damage. I don't know. I mean, we could we could focus on agility and uh, agility and damage. Actually, I think I think that would be good. Agility and damage, because you don't really need defense if you can dodge. All right. What about you? So she's a little bit faster now, which is good. Um, you'd probably... Oh yeah, see? Each one is plus 0.5 physical defense, so yeah. Power and wisdom. And then when she does do a critical hit, it's almost double. Well, let's do power. Put everything into power. Revival potion. I don't know why I walked all the way around to do that. That was not what I want to do. Crap. I mean, it's fine. Yeah. Stuff like this is why you want to upgrade the the first aid ability so I can get rid of this debuff. Hmm. We can still try it. You know, we can still try the... Uh, Going somewhere, Jack Bubba? Going into the heated cat bed? Ah, you guys are spoiled. It is very nice. I'm okay with that, though. Let's try Earth. <sighs> All right. Is there something down in that horrifying pit of blood? It appears so. Should I get it? Hmm, here's a sentence I never expected I'd say. Climbing into a giant pool of blood probably won't even be the strangest thing you do today. I guess that's true. Well, here I go. The worst part is not the blood. Enchant Siphoning 1. On second thought, maybe that actually was the worst thing you'll do today. If we don't die in here, you're probably right. Uh, the worst thing about blood 
or a lot of it, is it congeals. And then it's like... When you get a booger that, like, won't come off, you know, it, like, sticks to everything, that's... Blood does that stuff, and you're like, man... Okay, so tell me about... Siphoning. Hmm. Still... Hmm. Very odd. See, I'm getting all these things that I can't do anything with. Well, that's the other torch, but what does that do for me? Yeah, she dodged one of them. I mean, that's... Makes me pretty happy. You know, you're dodging almost one out of every ten, which is... something. Alright. Oh, is this where... Yeah, this was that other door. Okay, cool. And here's... Oh, see, this looks like a two-person switch thing. I mean, assuming that's what it is. All right, zombies. So I wonder how, like, how do zombies get created in this world? Also, I mean, the red eyes basically mean vampires. So, or, or vampire familiar or something like a thrall. Just makes me wonder, oh yeah, we gotta go up, but let's get the torch first. So that's the... presumably the last of the torches that we need. No, but, like, how does... So how, um... So presumably the dude that wanted the ring from Adrian was a... maybe a vampire. Right, we haven't found any of the keys yet. The brazier will burn in the light. Yeah, okay. Enchant luck. I think I can push this around. I wonder if I should do anything with it. Oh. Oh. Wait, is that, are these the grooves on the... Okay, so what did that do? Huh. Well, that's... good. Hmm. And that guy's, you know, he's awake now. And all these are lit. Well... I guess we still have to go downstairs, don't we? We're running out of time in this episode. Let's see if we can just scoot past. Crawl through there.
Hmm. A key? Key, normal. Keys, one. Well, choose the right door. That's right, the first thing we got was a key in the game. Maybe not the first thing, but pretty close. I definitely want to um, give uh, Lita some more damage, but I want to see if we can go above 99. I suspect we can. I'm almost entire. I'm almost certain. And honestly, Sari probably needs another level in um, in agility. Man, I'm so disappointed that that the, I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna be dazing everybody. No, nah, not so much. All right, well, which which one? Pick one. You can't do you can't do this. I guess. Do, wow, I haven't even saved. Oh, hey, we're all the way at the bottom. Well, time to. You know what, let's stop here. That way, if we screw this up, um, I would imagine there'd be a key behind at least, well, behind each of these doors, but just in case there's not, you know. Like, we still can't go in this. No, a gold key. Fancy. And there's a vampire behind it, so it's like, you may as well. I hope you're leveling up and stuff. All right, guys, that is it for today. Let me just double check. Yep, there we are. That is it for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for your time and attention. I really do appreciate it. Really hope you guys are enjoying these episodes. Questions, comments, concerns, good, bad, or indifferent, let me hear them. I do read all of them. Uh, assuming they're not memory hold, I do respond to all of them as well. Usually it takes me a few days, but I try. What is your guys' unique positive moment for today? For me, I'm going to say the sauna. Um, it was just a really good one today. Man, he was kind of a... Manny was kind of a pain in the butt as well. Like, he got right here and he's like laying on his back and he's like doing the, the biscuit thing on my neck and face. And I'm like, dude, just let me, <laughs> let me enjoy this. Let me just relax and, and let the heat bake in. But, um, but it's fine. It was, it was a good one. I actually got a pretty good sweat on. So I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, but that's my unique puzzle moment. Hopefully your guys is just as good, if not better. Hopefully better, of course. And I hope to see you guys next time. Till then, guys, take care.